back everyone or welcome back what's up everyone on youtube okay we had some technical issues on the recording and and now we're just uh starting here guys welcome back uh welcome hi how you all doing we're gonna be playing digimon world 4 starting today so I've heard a lot of things about this game. I listened to a few reviews and they say that this game is absolutely fucking trash. But uh, I kind of want my own opinions on it. AKA that means... Uh, can I call? Yeah, I can call. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make new Digimons. Like, I did do an extra save, but fuck this. Uh, we're naming our... Vmom VV because I can. So if it is hot doo doo, what happens if it is hot doo doo? I really have no idea. It really kind of depends on how hot doo doo the game is, because I might then just not finish it. Uh, but if it's not that much hot doo doo, then we're just gonna play the game. Yeah, this is the name I want to sign. <clears throat> But uh, I'm very doubtful that it's going to be that hot doo doo. Hello, you must be the new official member of the Digital Security Guard, otherwise known as the DSG. We are DigiElves, our role is to support the DSG. It's a pleasure working with you. We'd love to throw you a welcome party. But an error occurred in this home server system a short while ago. Currently, the systems are under maintenance, so all functions other than the callkeeper, safekeeper, and bankkeeper are down. The gate is the gate to the outside world is also closed, so you can't go to the other servers. To tell the truth, we've never experienced anything like this before, and I'm a little worried. But we have the DSG. I'm sure everything will be all right. We deserve a party. Wait, why do you deserve a party? Sorry for party rocking. So yeah, uh, I've already explored the entirety of uh, the home section, like uh, when my mic didn't work and when I was streaming, but not streaming. <clears throat> so um, uh, we'll talk about that later when it comes to it. I'm just gonna go and head towards uh, Ofanimon now and talk to her, get our mission, and uh, then actually play the game. You're the rage! Okay, so we can, like, the game is pretty simple so far, at least from what I could tell. Like, your circle is your jump button, X is your attack button, square is your defend button. There's also a slam attack, but I haven't been able to perform that. Uh, I did all this when I was like uh, already in the practice in the tutorial room before, so we're gonna do that in a bit as well again. But I gotta stretch. I've <laughs> been sitting for too long. Yeah, I get that feeling. I've been sitting a lot today as well. So you're new to the. <laughs> you are the new DSG members. Yeah, they talk in multi in multiples because I think. You can play this game with four people at the same time and have some uh, form of Diablo-esque kind of dungeon crawling. I don't know what the gameplay is much about yet, but that's kind of it. You'll be a great help. We're locked inside the server due to a system error. Not many DSG members are left here, so everyone was worried. Anyway, you're still new. You may have questions. If you need help, ask the Digi Elves on this floor first. They're familiar with the systems of this world. They'll surely give you useful advice. Also, you need to learn Digivolve techniques to Digivolve into other Digiforms. Some Digivolve techniques can be acquired by raising your level, and others are given to you as a reward for accomplishing special quests. So I suggest you take all special quests whenever possible. If I run into any, at least. Oh, I almost forgot. Commander Ofanimon wanted to see you. The commander is in the last room along the hallway to your upper right. Be sure you behave in front of him, okay? Well then, you better go now. We're, con uh, we're counting on you to protect the peace in the digital world. <clears throat> okay, so, like, 
uh, there are quite a few things that get explained in here, and I didn't speak to everyone, but it seemed fairly simple and noticeable on your own. So yeah, so you have just joined the DSG. I've been waiting for you. Welcome to the DSG. I'm the commander, Ofani Mon. DSG is a very important section that maintains the safety of all digital worlds. Let's fight together to maintain the peace of this world. I'm counting on you. I would like for you to carry out DSG's task as soon as possible. But before that, I have a special mission for you. This mission is... This mission, if you choose to accept it. Haha, <laughs> how cliche was that? I'm sure you have already heard that the server is experiencing some difficulties. Actually, a while ago we lost contact with another server called the Yamato server within the digital world. Immediately after, thereafter, a mysterious server area called the Death Valley appeared. Since then, the malfunction uh, error has spread throughout the server. Chief Leomon and a team of Digi-Elves went to survey the area. <clears throat> but ever since they entered Death Valley, we lost contact with them. We highly doubt that they forgot to contact us and were suspecting foul foul play. Go to Death Valley and find out any kind of information regarding their whereabouts. If you find them, I would like you to rescue them and bring them back. You are our only hope. We'll be counting on you. Ah, so that is the quest that we just got, or, or like the story so far. <clears throat> Fairly simple, I guess. Whoopty freaking do. Welcome back, Lizzie. Death Valley. So, even though it says that we're going to Death Valley, we're actually going into the tutorial room first. Uh, this explains the few things that I just explained as well. How X, aka A for my Xbox controller, is going to be uh, my regular attack. Then we have circle, which is jump, and square, which is guard. And if you double tap, guard yourself from enemy attacks. Exercise caution. It's it uh, guard works sort of like a parry. So double tap the left stick in the same direction while pressing the square button to perform. So oh wait, I think I actually read that wrong. I thought it was double tap and then press square, but I need to hold. Yeah. It's not easy to do this, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother using that. Unless I really need to at some point. It doesn't feel very nice. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I have an hour and 20 minutes! Nice, Lizzie's almost free. Excellent, you've mastered the basic skills. Remember to press each button by carefully monitoring the enemy's movements. Now, I'm going to explain a difficult technique called Spiral Attack. A Spiral Attack can be initiated by circling the 360 and then pressing X, aka the Spin Attack from Legend of Zelda. The Spiral Attack lets you give damage to all enemies surrounding your Digimon. It's important to turn the L-Stick carefully by observing the position and moving directly directions of the enemies. Okay, let's practice the spiral attack on the enemies. You can go to the next lesson once you have defeated all of them at this stage. Oh, okay, this is kind of nice. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. I forgot to pick up the item. Do a barrel roll! You can do a barrel roll if you're on the ground. Master the spiral attack. Now let's practice MP and uh, techniques. Use R1. To use MP techniques, you must press the R1 button once to open the MP technique window. Use the D-pad or the right stick to select the MP technique you want to use, and then press the X button to execute it. You can master new MP techniques or increase your technique levels by improving the applicable skills. 
Each time you use an MP technique, you're given a chance to improve the applicable technique uh, skill. The skill improves by one point at a time. If your Digimon does not have enough MP required by the selected MP technique, you can't use that technique. Now let's practice using MP techniques against actual enemies. You can go to the next lesson once you've beaten this stage. And boom. Technically, that's a barrel roll. <laughs> Technically, according to Lizzie. Excellent, you mastered uh, you mastered using MP techniques. You've mastered MP techniques, that's correct. Better English, right? Now let's practice uh, the charge attack. Press and hold the X button and energy will start accumulating in your Digimon, around your Digimon. After a while, your energy color will change from blue to yellow. Release the button when the energy is yellow to perform a charge attack. A charge attack lets the Digimon lunge forward. It's important to release the X button when the enemy is right in front of the Digimon. You can also break rocks or other obstacles in the stage with a single charge attack. Now let's practice the charge attack with an actual on actual enemies. Break the rocks and bushes in the stage to open the chest. After a short while, you'll enter the next lesson. Oh, that's cool. this. Okay, so if you press A itself, it also, uh... Allows you to pick up enemies, A, 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 X on the PlayStation controller. Now you've come to the final lesson. Oh. Using moves you just learned. You'll have more fun playing the game once you've learned buying these attacks. Let's pay attention to gimmicks in the stage such as opening doors and appearing bridges that will merge once you defeat all enemies you defeated. Seems fairly simple. You are very skilled. You have graduated from this stage. Cross the bridge and enter the circle gate. Okay. Ah, it's not too bad. Go to Death Valley. Once you move on to Death Valley, you cannot return to the practice stage. Is this okay? Yeah. Move on to Death Valley. Who needs practice? Apparently I do. Goblin Pass. Numemon. Molosk Digimon. Exploration report number 001, testing, testing, can you hear me? This is Chief Liumon. We'll be entering the unknown server to start an investigation. The exploration force of the DGLs will report all, all, uh, all cautions and other oddities that we see. Those who follow us can use these recordings as reference for this area. Okay. Seems fairly simple enough. Wow. It takes so much damage. Already lost half of my HP there. I mean, that funny. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Bobo. These things are fucking fire, man. My friend made me a bunch of Legend of Zelda uh, stickers and a keychain. Nice.
Wow, I actually died on the first four enemies. <clears throat> How are you doing, Bobo? If the entire team was destroyed, all members will be sent to the main lobby automatically, leaving their backup chips where they were defeated. Since all bits are left in the backup chips, uh, backup chip, your bits will become zero. Exercise with caution. Even after you are defeated, your level one drop. However, your XP will decrease if your level is two or above. Wow. Stop scaring the red hot chili bobo. If you use MP tech race or use a race disc on backup chips, you will be able to get back all the bits and some of the XP that has been depleted. Wow. That's what I do, Lizzie. <laughs> if you if you're destroyed, revived, and then get destroyed again without picking up the backup chip, your original backup chip will be gone forever. So if you're trying to pick up the backup chip, be careful. The original Dark Souls concept. <laughs> Ubisoft forward to start at nine. I'm not really that bothered about the Ubisoft forward. I'm more bothered about tomorrow. <sighs> okay, that is kind of um, interesting. English. That is uh, na nine p.m. Lizzie, stop being an American already. <laughs> Okay, let me have a look, right? Equipment folder techniques. Next level, 293 experience points needed. How much XP did that give me? 10 experience points. Taking less damage. Seven of these fuckers to get one level up more even actually. Know what time that is in the US? 9 p.m. She didn't mean like your exact time time, but like just the regular time, I guess. It's Chad's birthday. No, no. Tomorrow is uh, Bondi, uh, Square, Enix. Uh, I just looked it up. But I guess I didn't pay enough attention to actually care. Is that enough to kill it? No. These fuckers have so much HP. Nintendo. Nintendo is tomorrow as well, right? I don't actually think that I'm going to... Uh... ...stream tomorrow, just so that I can watch... No, it's the 15th or 16th. Oh, yeah. Wait, Nintendo isn't going to, to E3? <clears throat> Gate disc. Yes, gate disk allows me to device folder fresh arm. Disk folder. Oh I no I don't have any discs. I won't gate disk. 
Return all traveling Digimons to the main lobby. It's fuller, sleepy. Be fuller, and be as well. Got pistol. I like the sword so far. So I don't feel no bother about that. Am I now? You can have free exchange. Oh, now I can use my gun. That might actually be better for the start. Many traps are hidden in this world to keep you from accomplishing your mission. All of them are smartly calm through it, so be careful as you go on. PlayStation probably as well. Nintendo does its own thing. Did last year as well. PlayStation probably as well. Uh, okay. No, I'm not gonna watch it on stream, Bobo. There's not enough people that are interested in watching it with me, and uh, I just don't feel like it. You may come across areas where the doors are locked and you can't go further. To open these doors, usually I need two or more specific items as it passes. Waiting for Switch Pro. Take my money! Yeah, the passes are kept by the bosses in dungeons. Defeat them to obtain the necessary ID passes. When you have obtained all ID passes needed to open a door, several switch in front of the door will activate. Get on the last inactive switch to activate all switches in front of the door. The door will open to let you move on. It's only an example of traps you must find your way to overcome this yourself. Motherfucker just blocking my shit here. No, Pickle Mania is not a Keyblade. Yeah, that's 12 experience points. Hey, we got some bits. Oh, they are just launching the memo at me. That is fucking asshole. It's also not that easy to, like, survive. <laughs> I used a sword before, but the guns seem better, uh, at least better for the goblins, Goblinmon. But uh, Numenmon can apparently spit shit at me. And that is uh, just terrible, because then I can't cheese them from distance. Maybe I can if I, like, actually block, but... Oh, I can cheese them from a distance still. Nice. Okay, so I only have 2 HP left. I actually got some money. See you later, UB time, Bubbo! Enjoy the UB soft. I 
I'm dead. <laughs> Again. This game is rough. I, at least I'm still level 1 and I don't lose that much. <clears throat> Just a little bit of money. But once I reach level 2, I'm gonna lose my experience points. Which is not so great techniques. Oh. This demon. Blend force skill techniques. Skill to required to use MP tech that heals an ally. MP tech. I got. Oh, this skill tech. Ah, yeah, I see. Be level 1 forever! I mean, if I did that, then I'm most likely not gonna progress through the game now, am I? This is what we call the Joseph Joestar strat. Me good and yo. Okay, that's one. Ooh, what the fuck is that? This item. I feel like this might be a good way to start off for a bit until I like gain some levels. And durability. Battle Hawk A. Hold. Hold our devices. We got a Dino Tooth. Skill with stab. Dagger made of the Klochnichian metals. Track the swords. Battle Hawk. An X made of. Doesn't look like it does more damage or something. At least I can't tell yet. Loot! Yeah, loot! I'm kind of surprised at how difficult this game actually is to start with. It's another one down. A hey, long sword. I'm kind of surprised that there isn't a look on button or something. <laughs> I 
was a surprise with how much these fucking goblins walk. Or goblimon. In the memory. Gate this can stand sitting. <laughs> I can't stand sitting. That is uh, something, Lizzie. It's one down. Who was that? Uh, equipment. No, that's the wrong one. It's a little bit sensitive. I think I need to use my D-pad more than anything else. Device folder. Kamikiri. Tana made of long ditsoid metal. Oh, I found my weapon type. <laughs> At least my second weapon type. For now. First is the gun. I'm surprised that, like, my sword already leveled- Oh wait, my sword leveled up because I was in the practice stage as well, right? I didn't get experience points in the practice stage, though. At least I don't think I did. Hi, we may. We may. Timing is so bad. These guys have sneaky little tricks, man. Can I actually equip that without, or do I need to do that? Equip armor boards. Yeah, okay, I can do that here. I need to do- I literally- that's another thing about this game. Is that everything needs to be done at a specific NPC, you can't actually equip it yourself. Those are all kind of tips that I've, like, already learned from the reviews. Like, they didn't spoil anything for me or- Ooh, HP disc. How about, uh, thank you very much. Oh, hi. Already against an Ogreman as well. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. I don't know what that was, but it was a core of some sort. Hey, I went level up! Nice. One sword. But that I do know now that I can't actually build. Raise disc as well. Bits, HP disc or MP disc. Something has moved in this stage. Do I raise it? Nah.
If I think I'm gonna get in danger, I'll get away. Apparently, you know, sitting for long periods of time can give you blood clots. Apparently, truckers get them if you don't stretch. Makes sense. Finally, tech went up. Battle Hall. Not bad, honestly. We got 159 bits now, and 606 experience needed to reach level 3. Blocking me, uh, bitch. HP disc. I got three HP discs now. That's pretty nice. So that most likely can sell, right? Okay, so I need to enter that cave because it's a mini dungeon. But there's nothing to do when I I just stand security sees me and thinks it's weird. I mean I guess. <laughs> Humid cave. Death Valley. Mimimon, stop wanting to throw your feces at me. The keyless board? They look like feces. Oh no, wait, those are the Sukumon that look like feces. These the nerd look more like puke indeed. Okay, we killed one.
concerned about your bowel movements, you should get that checked out. Nah, my bowels are doing just fine. Oh, these give me 14 experience points? like there's something scary behind that door. I'm not gonna go there just yet. Uh -oh. I see treasure! The treasure is mine! In these tiny corridors I can hit these guys easily. There was nothing in it. Feels bad. Boss time! Let's go. Open map. Human K B1. Oh, hey! It's not a boss time yet, so that's... Actually, I'm not so sad about that. I like that they sometimes automatically block. How many? Uh, two more HP discs now. Oh. Can I jump over it? Not completely. Speed chip. Empty disc. Money. Go down. Equipment, no. Folder. Cipher core. Boards that increase empty max. Increase boards, increase speeds. Armor board increases damage. This chip speeds up. 30 points for all sorts. Power up with X data. Okay. No, I don't want to break it. Oh, wait. With that, so we go to uh, the. Uh, back to the server. Level three, that's nice. It's too many women. Men. I wonder what the speed stat actually increases. Nice, got level three gunning.
You can do it, Yordi. Sometimes. Thanks. Sometimes is better than no times. Yeah, room cleans again. Here's room number two. Starting to fall. Two HP discs. Don't mind if I do. I know too. Skill stab, a dagger made of long digzoid metal. Myth Cave. Hey, there is Sukumon. Mutant Digimon, odd shaped Digimon. <laughs> throw his feces at me. Okay, he's already dead. That wasn't too bad. Thought this was gonna be some big kind of boss. Oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that wasn't good. Accidentally wasted my MP thingy. Power metal. Uh, let me do an MP this. How did I get double stacked up so quickly? Um, F. Unit map B2. Sixty six. Oh, Charge attack takes so long to charge. It's kind of lucky that that actually landed there. No blink. See disc, I think. Yeah. Money. Cypher core. Getting thirsty. Hi. Four of these motherfuckers. Almost level three. Uh, 
ice and level up. Not a race disc, that's also nice. Nice HP disc. Mule Sports into a boss battle. Mule Sports into a boss battle. Blossomon, Vegetation Digimon, Flower Shaped Digimon, Beware of Sleep. Keep blocking me! Quit blocking me, I mean. Speeds up. Each one shot me. Did I just get your team is completely destroyed? Sending the data of all members to the main lobby. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I had full HP. He hits me once and I'm dead. That is. Fucking ridiculous. <sighs> All my bits gone. That's so sad. I was like, I can handle like a single hit or something, but no. Beauty disc chop. Sell items in folder. Device folder. That's the katana. I need to keep the cipher and the armor for a bit. Because I don't know what it does exactly. And the speed metal, for example. Choose another item. Oh, I actually got a better dagger. Need stab skill, level 30. I'm not gonna get rid of that though. Look, we got one HP and one other thing. You have a look at Bank Keeper. Oh, yeah, I can probably give my bits to her. 
if uh, needed. Um, techniques. Techniques. Got shot 11. Last. Oh, that's for using MP. Bash. Ability chips, you can increase the power of various abilities where you want. Use a chip shop. Critical rate up, power up. For fire. I have electricity though. Speed up, spirit up. Okay, I can't do that here, I guess. Souls currently going under inspection. At least the music is fairly nice. Okay, what are you? Armor shop. If you equip this, you'll add to your attributes. What do you want to do if you equip? Cypher and Grissus MP. Grave. Wisdom and Spirit down, but speed and strength up. Weapon shop. Let me see what if I can find better weapons on you. You can see only A so far. Bone blade. Wait, what skill slash? <laughs> Has specific mods on it as well. That's kind of curious. But yeah, no. Okay, let's go to the central area. Grazel Keeper. Where the Bank Keeper? Field bank keeper, deposit items, bits, all of it. The diggy lab. View the diggy lab menu. Exchange weapons. Uh, no. Slash swords. Remove equipment. Equip weapon units. Kami Maru A. Armor slot. Equip an armor board. So I can equip Cypher, which only boosts my stuff. Or. Yeah, let's just. Equip Cypher for... I don't know what the armor board itself is. See this? Subslot. What is subslot? Okay, that's an armor board. Uh, Archelaus board. Fence up. Could be pretty chill. Beast. Spare down strength up. My speed goes down so far. Achilles. I think Achilles is probably my best bet. Armor gives me a shit ton more armor and HP, but it lowers everything like my speed so far, and I think speed is very good to have. 
So... Imon! So where do you install chips? Or should I say, how do you install chips equipment? I'm kinda scared of just using the chip metals. With Xdata Oak. Maybe I should talk to the Xdata dude. Just this guy. Studying the effects of the X data that was recently discovered. It looked like Digimon power up when using X data. Can X data come on by? Increase ability chip characters. I don't actually have any insufficient X data. Digimon parameters. Your save keeper. Oh, let's save while we're here. Save a record over it. Yep. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Uh, folder. Device folder. Chips and metals. What do chips and metals do? That's sort of me. wait. Okay. Hey, you Ziller. It's for chips. Shops. When the weather abscess no rain, but you reds in the morning storms. So you have an umbrella. Did I go up here at all before? been up here before. Here? Emergency gate? Uda you? Hockey car. I can call your friend to the server so that you can play together. No. I don't have no friends. No friends! And now it's raining. Weird. Oh.
Okay, let me sell something again. You just put menu. Sell items. Device. Oh, can't get rid of the slash. So these armor chips. Uh... No. Chips I keep. Everything else can go. Look at all this money! Okay. Uh, back real quick. I want to buy some discs. Buy discs. Yeah, figure. There's a cure disc. Removes poison. Raise disc. Gate disc. I got two gate discs. Uh, one, two, three, five. I got 18k bits, so it's fine. And then five, four empty discs. Well, we got some uh, durability again. Now we store the rest, uh, including uh, my slash sword and speed and power chip, because I have no idea if that is like score or not. Oh, wrong one. It's. Okay. Go to destination. Death Valley. Okay, so I know that death val like the overworlds get reset once you like die or uh, get out of the pass, out of the valley. <sighs> I like that my actual power went a little bit up. My tech went up as well, give me that. Oops. Tech is increasing a lot faster, and I feel like I'm shooting faster. That might just be my... Rando. I wanna try using the Kakin Kiru Maru real quick. This doesn't look like Katana at all. Ah, I guess it's fine. Raise this. Why did the Netherlands send this ring? Uh, because uh, you requested it. I like the pistols better so far, though. That's just purely because I feel safer with them. that I'm suddenly getting. Roots did not. I see the people running on the camera. 
I mean, you say you didn't, but uh, I have records stating that you guys did, so... I had to go all out and do the rain dance. It's not like I wanted to do the rain dance for you guys. Oh yeah, I quickly forgot about you guys. Next time, report the dance, lol. Yeah, I bet you'd love to see that, Lizzie. I bet you'd love to see that. Twenty experience points for these guys. HP disc, Dino Tooth. Sorry, but my ancestors told me never to show the dance to anyone. <laughs> uh... Ruth? The place is indicated by the symbol, a special point called security hold. Use a gate disc in the security hall to connect it to the emergency gate in the main lobby. Okay, but I don't feel like we need it. Lizzie, thank you very much for stopping by, girl. Enjoy the rest of your day. If I don't see you. And, uh... Talk to you guys most likely Monday. Yeah, because I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I'm going to most likely be watching E3. Okay, so you have a max amount of items that you can carry, I guess. Of one of a specific item, I mean. Exploration report number 03. In this I can't believe the Digimon in this area who are who are our friends attacked us. We'll advance deeper into the area of this unknown server and to investigate it. No, we don't want to go to the Abyss of Grief yet. Okay, so there is a key most likely down there, but I want to level up a few more times, because the fact that I just got one hit is very, very annoying for me. Okay, so we need to continue exploration report number two. 
is Exploration Force number 5. We need two ID keys to enter the Goblin Fortress. We have no idea how to obtain them. Clever. But we have no idea how to obtain them. Dumb Bean! What's up, dudes? How are you doing today? It's actually quite fun, two player. Don't know about one player. I don't know either, I just got one shot by the first boss. And you need a shit ton of experience points to level up every single time, so... <laughs> I'm like... Uh... What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. But uh, yeah, Dumpstar, I don't really have a clue yet. We're still in the first level and I already died like 10 times. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I don't even... I've, according to the review that I read, these dungeons don't reset if you die in them. But the overworld does. So I should be able to just walk on over towards the boss. But not that I have like any defense uh, ups or anything. Oh yeah, you can redo them once you like... Uh... But you need to exit the game. Like if you like uh, stop playing the game for a bit. For whatever reason, these dungeons uh, are reset. Like, I watched two reviews of the game and both weren't very good on the game. Like, they really hated it. They only had they only had complaints. Because <laughs> I needed to make... Uh, what was it called again? I need to make a new thumbnail of the game and uh, I... Oh wait, this is another quick save point. But if I go back in... Uh, then I lose that quick save. At least I think that's how it works. <clears throat> What's weird is your abilities level up as long as you use the spell, not hit with the spell. Oh yeah. You can technically just uh, shoot your gun as well. The same, it works the same. But I think I'll have a better shot this time boss I'm gonna try what I dis really disliked though that is something that I noticed and really peed me off kind of was the fact that they keep blocking my shit yeah it was blossom on <laughs> I wonder like I haven't seen much blocks after I got my uh, like started dealing a bit more damage but all these blocks are pissing me off I attacked up again Level 3 is really low. I see I was like level 8 when I did this. Really? How did you get level 8? Were you just grinding up the entire time or uh, did you actually go... Because uh... I'm using the gun, right? And I don't die as often if you, you if you use the gun, you don't die as often. You're just like... You can keep your distance and if it's a melee character, you can just walk away. Obviously, if they're incredibly fast, like uh, Blossomon, 
Oh, lightning is absolute garbage against this thing. That's why uh, my the damage looks like it was so much. Time was like 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, man, I have honestly, I have little, little idea of what this game is gonna be like. If I have to go of anything from what those uh, reviewers said on YouTube about this game, and I could only, I could literally only find two reviews of this game, <laughs> and they were all so tilted about it. I did it! <laughs> it's probably more fun with the melee weapons. Yeah, I, I don't know yet because if, like I didn't like the fact that I after I couldn't even kill four gobli uh, goblimon before I got my ass whooped by them. I really did not like that. So I was like, uh, okay, you know what? Fuck you then. I have a gun. That will probably work. Ooh, a B? Longsword? Was that Longsword B? That's the wrong area. I need to be in folder devices. No, it was just an A. Double bladed X. And this brings me back to the main lobby. But uh, yeah, as far as I can tell right now, as soon as you get like uh, get some HP items, get more items, it becomes a lot more friendly to play. Just gonna go back in, heal up, sell my garbage, stash my bits. We. Uh, device. We have a Kakimon. Beast board can go. Wow. Skill bash. 210. I mean, I am using Kamikiri Maru, right? It's also bash. Should I keep it? It is a 20, uh, 10, 2010. 210, Jesus. I think I'll just stash it away for the time being. It's not a bad idea. How much experience points did I get from... Uh, about 150, I guess. It's not a lot of experience points. The game doesn't give you a lot of experience points at all, actually. Circle, comes back. So, does this bring me to the start of Death Valley again? Do I need to use the emergency exit? Might be somewhere you can go after that boss. Uh, yeah, there was an area that I didn't go into. Uh, before this. Uh, it does look like it's just a... Uh, 
path back to where I want to start. That feels kind of effy, not gonna lie. Oh well, I need experience points anyway, so I might as well just go some Bulgur Demon. They don't seem to block my shit anymore as badly either. Probably because I now deal enough damage to like beat them. Or maybe it's because I did the speed up. I am gonna look up some information about the game, like what stats do, for example, because this is kinda... I don't know what to think yet. What to prioritize, for example. This place always seems to drop a freaking item in one of those boxes as so well. Grab it, right? I love that my tech is upping so fast right now. One sword. Date this. Very nice. Some more biddies. I'm also kind of curious if we now completely out, oh, except for those. But other than that, the the new main monsters are dead. That's good. If I pay a bit of attention to how far my next level is, I can spam all my MP away and then... Uh, refill my MP with just a... Uh, level up. HP disc bees! So far, so good, though. I'm not necessarily uh, disliking the game. Abyss of Grief. Death Valley still. Oh, evil Digimon, bomb whack! Wait, didn't I read this one already? experience points this time around. So the Digimons actually do level up in certain locations. They just get a little bit stronger, give more experience points. The 
the damage boost really improves everything by a lot. It means I can just clean out the area right now. Dumpstar, have you ever played any VR games? Well, Overmoon goes down so fast compared to the Goblin Moon. Okay, this is another one of those war points, so I guess this is progress further forward. So we're gonna go check all the other corners of the map. See what we can find. He's having to shoot aiming. Long sword aim. That was incredibly lucky. This is probably to the safe point, right? Yeah. Dead ends. Wooden enemy dough, which is free. Items. Okay, I'm gonna throw my uh, MP out right now on the next enemies. I'm guessing that this is another one of these mini dungeons. So I'm going a little bit further back to see if there's anything else there. I don't know why, but jumping feels faster than just walking. Oops. Sixteen MP for use. This is where I entered. I have a feeling that this is going to be very annoying. <laughs> Thankfully I have a shit ton of healing items, so... Nailed it! Ooh, I can jump down. What is this? Probably something that I need to activate. Oh, 
some sort. Oh god, why do I not trust this place? Let me heal up just in case. Oh, hi, Blossomon again. Stop being so fast. This camera is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Is this enough? One, two. Definitely not. Probably if I miss so much though. 44, nice. Begin level. I did not anticipate to actually run into freaking what's her face here. I also have no idea where I am right now. Report number four. We report that the investigation results of exploration forest number three. This is the new main Nume Nume River, you can't get past here unless you have the boat key. If you don't have one, head back. Okay, so boat key. Do I have a boat key? It's the wrong one. Keys. Blossom idea. Gate to the Goblin Fortress. Nope. I wonder if Blossom Mom actually respawns. I do now have to go and jump all the way back, and I'm not sure what that does if I, like, miss a jump. Oh, I get reset back here. Okay, that is actually not too bad. If you have, uh, oh crap, that's what I wanted to use. <clears throat> if you just have HP discs. Which is definitely not hard to come by, so... But doing miss, uh, multiple miss-ups of that jump probably sucks hard, though. Okay, so I need another key, probably. ID key. And I probably get that out of this place here. The cliff dungeon. I said I was thirsty like half an hour ago. Yoy, flat on my butt. Can I destroy this? No. Let's see what we're up against. Sukamel, Nami again. Oh. Well, that didn't go so well. Ow.
Sukumuma absolutely horrendous with their close-in moves and close-range attacks and long-range attacks. Too terrible. New member models are also annoying, by the way. But I like the fact that I got HP gain or XP gain. Yo, what did they change to my Nesquik? It doesn't. Mix well anymore. I have enough healing items, so I don't have to worry for a bit. Plus, I just don't pay attention and gets wrecked. This is gonna be fucking frustrating. Oh shit. How the fuck did I not get hit there? Get Shrek. I'd rather not get Shrek. Oh, oops. What you up to, Zilla? Are you having fun? Do you like the new updates? Uh, being mean to myself? Why are you being mean to yourself? You did nothing wrong! I guess the update is alright. Lots of free primos. Have you been to the summer vacation place yet? That's what I call it. The event area. Primos there. Oh, yeah, it, it's a decent amount of free primos. Nothing to scoff at, that's for sure. Nice. Yeah, I also earned the Barbara outfit already. I just Googled. Uh, <laughs> where to get them though. I was not really in the mood to cross all those islands and have to look for them specifically. Yeah, yeah, I think those torches are the ones that you can actually not find yet. At least that's what I think, though. It doesn't have to be true at all. Because there's one section... Uh, I, I looked them up as well. But there's one section with just question marks, and you can't reach that yet. And if you explore everything, there's like this island with uh, a lot of... Like, with a water dome around it, and you can't actually access that yet. 
Ow. It's very, it's very good of you, though. Like, I'm just not, I, I try to play Genshin efficiently, so I don't like just strolling around. I just feel like I don't have the time for that, more or less. Because there are other things that I'd rather be doing. Give me the shits. Oh, uh, even more? That sucks. You kick all their ass in a row. <clears throat> you started an NA account of Genshin. different things over there. I was tips about in different stream. I'm not doing a single wish until AR45. Oh! Haha, <laughs> that is actually not a bad idea. Not gonna lie. I just really like the character, so I'm personally just rolling for the characters itself, right? <clears throat> Not even the beginner wish thing with Noel. Any specific reason to why not those either? I can probably guess why not, but seeing as Noel is not really like worth it. 
It sounds like a fun challenge. <laughs> it sounds like a fun challenge. <clears throat> Not sure about that. Personally. Sounds like... Uh, Sounds more like, uh, uh, yeah, I want to solo everything with my uh, Traveler. And it's technically not a bad idea, because you don't really need that much for Traveler to send him. But you're missing out so many elements or things. But story-wise, it should be fairly doable. Closing in on a level up again, that's pretty chill. And depends on if I need a healing item soon or not. Like, I can actually feel you pretty well on that, uh, Zillar. I've had the same issue for a while now that I don't actually feel like playing Genshin. But because I don't want to, like, lose out on Primos and such, I just keep on going every single day and just rush it. Points, another one. So how many more are you going to throw at me, game? Attack. Is there another one in this farm? No, they didn't. Safety. You fuckers again.
Boom. That's why it suddenly makes sense. Yeah, try hitting me from over there and I'll wait until like one of you comes fuck closer. Thanks for opening the door, Mia Moore. <laughs> Lift Dungeon D2. One more kill, and I'm gonna level up. boards I see a switch I'm making it my bitch to actually take care of them. Nice amount of money. Open the map. Just a bit of money. I feel sad. I wouldn't mind, like, getting a uh, weapon upgrade. Plus five X. Oh crap. Oh crap. That's a waste. You can upgrade things with the X gene, which is kind of cool. This door is now open. I don't know how I opened it, but I opened it. <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Ogre Mom. How you doing? Yeah, you're doing Gucci. I don't really like it that you guys just jumped out of the fucking bushes like that. Thank God for these corners and you guys just being so big because I can hit you. Like you can't hit me and I don't have to work too hard with aiming. Again. Anyone, 
enough. One, two, three, four. Jesus. Just can you do the same thing? Come get me, bitches. Like, this way they can't walk around my hits either as well, so good. It's probably one of the best tricks that I figured out this early on. Like, don't get me wrong, I still don't have a better weapon, and my damage is still kind of lacking. I still take way too much damage. Bean Magnum. A bean. Let me have a look at that. Device. 360. Oh! That is a good drop. Uh... How high is my uh, attack moves right now? Five. Nowhere close enough. What, Sardoff? What are you saying? Can't tell. How you doing, dude? The game is too well. The game is pretty decent so far. I had a rough start, but like once I picked up using the guns instead of just a melee weapon, it uh, kind of picked up the pace. I don't know what these things are and what they do, but I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna like them very much. Yeah, guns ablazing. I will still probably get one shot by Boltzes. Holy frickin' dings. Okay, it looks like you guys don't have ring attacks, so... If I just stay away... And shoot you. I don't even know what Digimon this is. What kind of fucking Digimon is this? Is this even a Digimon? <clears throat> 28 experience points though, that is... A pretty nice amount of experience points. Don't know how much I need for the next level. But yeah, I read uh, though I read I watched those reviews, right? And both of the guys that reviewed this game, of the two people that reviewed this game on YouTube, right? They were like, yeah, it doesn't feel like it was a game that was made for Digimon specifically. They just popped Digimon in because it's a, a good way to milk it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Like, why would Digimon need guns? Honestly. Grand Blade B. 24 bits. So this game, by the way, has the so-called Dark Souls mechanic. Which was kind of interesting. Oh, electricity field. Digimon's Pokemon with guns, duh. Wow.
Did I get them all? Fuck evolution. Embrace the guns. But I like evolution and the evolution. I don't want to embrace the guns. Huh. More spawn? Suka, not I. Uh, yeah, these are the Super Men. All too bad, loads guns. I mean, the game still does uh, evolutions, though, so I'm not too worried. Just need to reach certain levels to get new evolutions and such. Your mic audio sounds awful today. Why though? Really? I don't know. I had issues with my mic earlier today that it uh, wasn't. I couldn't hear it. It's fine on my end. Okay. So we uh, out for it. We just gotta blame uh, Sardolf's. <laughs> That would feel so bad if they had like a uh, like little spot right at the end here. But it's okay, I have like plenty of stuff right now. Watching at 480, but it sounds like 144. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to watch on 480 at all, actually. My stream is set for uh, 710. 720, I mean. I'm surprised that I'm not having any issues with the stream at all, actually. Because <clears throat> I decided to, to actually record my uh, streams as well. And do, like, small tweakings of them before I upload them to YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, this game is a lot more fun than I actually anticipated it'd be after like all the things that have been said in the reviews and such. I don't dislike this game at all so far. You always watch on 480, uh, Sardolf. Just real his VC was on. <laughs> God damn it, man! What are you doing to me? Didn't drop anything, right? Nice. Went long. Not a lot up. We're level six now. Glad that everything's fine now.
Vogue Call or VC downgrades the second channel. Ah, I see. Money, money, money. Hate this. Okay, we're at the bulls. Ugh. Let's hope that I don't get one shot again. <laughs> like, that happened before on the first boss, that I just got one shot. By that time, I still haven't actually leveled up that much compared to the first boss. Oh! Holy shit! Okay. Deadly. Watch out for the fucking... Um... Ice Blast. Let me spam all my uh, magic. Hey, but I didn't get one shot! He's charging, I actually can't hit him. That's kind of weird. I need to wait for him to, like, get his face bumped. Uh oh. I'm not even gonna risk it. Oh. But I didn't. First try. <clears throat> no, no. I just missed him a lot. <laughs> like. There was a shit ton of misses there. Oh, it doesn't revive my MP, that feels kind of bad. Thankfully, uh, there's most likely an exit here anyways. Long sword. Cypher core. Double X. Oh, I'm out of space. Good to know. Go to the destination, yeah, sure. Direction. Let's heal up. So I have officially gotten better guns, but my skill level is still too low to actually use it. Which kind of bums me out. <laughs> level 6 though is not too bad. Anything I can do for your view, Bankkeeper, Deposits, Items... Cypher core element core or that reduces damage. Increases max MP. Increases max HP. Uh I think that might be a good one to check out, see what the difference is, is between all the new cores that I picked up. Oh, where's my um Magnum? Uh, Beam Magnum, you're going away for a bit until I have enough to actually use it. So we got Brave Cores. Grand Blade. It's not bad for when I'm gonna use Bash. So today I think I made them correct Duxus in this set. No Duxus in this set. Okay.
don't really need so many of each, right? I will put a few more power metals away. The rest I'm just gonna sell. Uh, I'll keep my bits for the time being, because I'm most likely going to buy something. Yeah, I can't actually equip any ability sets or chips yet, so... Device folder... Bone blade a skull... Cypher cores can go... Wait, yeah, no mods. This board can go... Great for and keep. Keyless boards. Armor boards, beast boards. Long sword B. Uh... Atlas boards. I think I'll keep that one to see what that does change. Cypher core can go. How... Where are my guns right now? Techniques. Schultz, 104. To 385! Armor. Today I also invented a deck. Ooh. Only bone swords. Called it Griffin Order. Is the wind deck? Weapon units, cipher core. Element gives more defense, less wisdom, and resistance to everything. That is actually not too bad. Brave defense, but MP down by quite a lot. Speed up, defense, wisdom, and spirit go down as well. Mm, no, I think I'm sticking with cipher, honestly. Even though my defense goes up, I like having more MP. Blue Eyes Trash is a level 3 spam deck, summons Griffin Nightmare Imperial Order from the deck. Oh, we weren't talking about your game anymore. We were talking about regular... Uh, uh, we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh now. But okay, that's uh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the other things as well. It's not great. You are the bank keeper. Yeah, but I was talking about Sardolf. <laughs> and yeah, compared to Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, the Blue Eyes uh, card for our mini game is trash. But Sardolf uh, was talking about the deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I thought he actually meant uh, for the TCG he's making. Or, well, we are making.
buy some discs. Uh, how many A's do I have right now? Five. So let me buy three extra. MP? Uh, MP, I got more than enough. The rest of the money goes into the bank! They see me rolling. They hating. Deposit into bank. Items, uh, bits, I mean. At least I got max amount of, oh, got a lot of money now. It just went level up. So I don't think we'll have to worry too much about leveling up for a while. Still don't have a better gun. That kind of pissed me off. Just a little bit. Overdone so many things under the name of balance. My goal is to release six ortha per element and equal or more dows. Yeah, I am honestly, I'm not gonna mess with that because you have a specific idea in your head, and I don't think I can like get around that. I do personally think that a hundred cards is quite a lot. Especially with your uh, concentration, I should say. In fact, that I need to draw out the cards at some point still. days left yay true 13 days left ooh did i just get more another beam magnum beam magnum a that one is 90 i can actually use that I'm definitely gonna put that on once we get back. Tick tock, tick tock. How far is, uh, how quickly does this level up anyways, this skill? Plus some wrong buttons, techniques. Blast, no, blunt, no. Bash, it's only level two so far. Get our bash up a little bit. Guard room. Uh oh. points for Wobbly Moon. Wow, how much did I just get hit for? Okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back to the short pistol. It's fine, less damage, but... Safe, the safe 
safe tower. Not so fucking dangerous. No idea what that sign meant, but oh hi. Rude that they just spawn inside of me. Tick tock click clock. Just feel felt like they skipped the freaking uh, next level. I was getting 30 XP before from Ogre Mom, and now the Goblin Moms give two points more experience points. It's kind of fucking sick. Seeing how many of these motherfuckers suddenly spawn. Oh. Need to kill twenty more. Wait, are they just spawning from here? Are they just gonna keep on spawning? What is this place? Is the door already open? No. It feels like I'm missing something. How does this one open? Need to kill more Goblin Mom? Oh. I mean, I don't mind. It gives me levels and other things. Has to be a sort of limit to it, right? Okay, yeah, there was a limit to it. How many you needed to kill? Rotating hall. Fortress. Oh, 
why. Waves are kind of insane. Chain? Level up! Okay, it seems like that was everyone. Let me have a look at what this keychain is. It's the wrong one. E pull bar? No. This pull bar? I can't even go to the keychain or beat back. I don't even know what that is. Vice? I wonder when my first Digivolution technique uh, comes. I know tooth. It's oh. almost got hit again for something dumb. With something dumb, I mean you're already dashing in instead of being more careful. Actually, full of raised discs. It's a good thing I've been so careful then. Actually, that I don't need any more raised discs. Kind of wondering why my guns gain so much tech quickly as well, like skill points. Everything else is so slow.
How high does this go? I think very high. I actually thought this chamber was go just gonna rotate every so often. Instead, the rotating chamber, they mean like me walking up this fucking cliff. Are they waiting for me with the circle jerk? like fucking 500 no f yeah f about 500 experience points off that This game would be so much harder if I didn't use the guns. Wondering if there's ever gonna be like a boss that is immune to the guns. Like I know I'm expecting a lot from games now since I played Shin Megami Tensei. Three. But you think that the game developers notice that this it that these guns make the game quite a lot easier. Or maybe that's why they put it in in the first place, because the game is actually quite very hard if you don't do it. We finally reached the top. I think. Hopefully. I think it would be very funny if that by the end of this level and I warp back, right? Or get warped back. I can actually use the better Magnum guns. But that would put me over, like, 200 more skill levels, so... I'm also very doubtful about that. So there is a crit hit system in this game as well. If you crit, they are stunned for longer when you hit them. I feel like there's an elevator on this side that brings me all the way down. Oh, no. Okay, so we're entering the first hallway first, and then we're entering the second hallway. Demon, did you fall into the X Digimon lab? Wait, what? behind me. Digital DNA conversion system switched off. Stopping the data scan of Digimon number one and conversion to Mecha Road. Oh. Hi. Can 
my damage is pretty fine. I don't know how much damage he does so. And I'm also not sure whether or not I should. Okay, he doesn't do that much damage, that's fine. Doesn't look like it's too hard for me to walk his attacks either. Nice. Nice kill! Can I go back now? Hmm. X data. No. That kind of sucks because I wanted to see what's in the other room. I didn't expect that the first room was the continue room. Hey, Leomon! What was that? I think I was fighting with someone. This is the Doom server, a brilliant world created by us. Hey, who's there in my head? Our so we are the new rulers of this world, the Mecha Rogue. No, I'm not. I am, yes, Leomon. It was that time when I was taken deep inside the Doom server and the X-Virus. Ugh, no, my body! Sorry, can you take me back to the home server? I need to report what I saw to Ophanium. No! Frick, seems like you defeated the boss and then have to redo the same area, but to go a bit further. Wouldn't be Leo Mon if he isn't dead or controlled by evil. True! So true! Good job! Currently, Leo Mon is going through treatment at the Digilab. But I wonder what could make even Leo Mon like that. According to him, the other Digimon were attacked and captured. Please hold on. There's a message from the Digilab staff. I see. That's what I thought. Just as we thought, the program that reconfigured Leomon's body is the same as the unknown program spreading throughout the digital world. That means this program, the X-Fires, as Leon says, Leon says, Leomon says, Jesus, is probably able to reconfigure various digital data. If that's true, then the Doom server, which is the unknown server that suddenly appeared, may be the Yamato server that we lost contact with earlier. We can't just sit here. The Digi Elves are still in Death Valley. Here's the boat key from Leomon. Will you use it to save them? Yeah, sure. We now have the boat key. As much as I want to, I can't leave here now. I think you are perfectly capable of completing this mission. Please, you are our only hope. Such a typical uh, game plot there. Uh, I'm going back in there. right away because i'm curious to what the frick uh, was the other spot even though i have to walk a shit long <laughs> freakishly long path do, 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 do. hey leomon i went down deep into the doom server searching for for oh no i can't remember anything after that why why? No, Zedol. At least we got the bow key now. I still don't know what to do with this weird ass keychain that I got as well. Maybe I should show it to, uh. Heart Keeper. Probably not the Heart Keeper. Thing interestingly here yet. Special ID. Okay, let's swap swap in our better weapons 
That's the Diggy Lab. Uh, you do with X data. Still don't have enough to actually upgrade anything, so. It gave me the example of level 30 to evolve. Your only hope hits so hard nowadays. <laughs> ah, not that hard. It is our B Magnum 90. Jesus, look at the strength upgrade. I can't wait to reach uh, 385 uh, uh, shock damage because I got a magnum that is freakishly. Uh, that is even better than this one. You. Okay, not in here apparently. Maybe with you then. Bonjour. Okay, a set of nine rare items. Oh, uh, next Tuesday my hair is gonna get cut again, finally. Got way too much hair. Weapon shop. Let me see if you changed anything in the meantime. No. Sell. This folder. Very rare item. Perhaps someone collects this. Card keeper will. Oh, these are booster packs. Okay. Gotcha. Kamikiri Maru. Chan. Holy shit, this Dino Tooth is worth so much. It has five mod slots, that's why. Jesus Christ. And it's level one staff skill. I think I'll keep it for the time being. Maybe I need like something to mod, put mods on. So far I don't really need more money anyways. Uh, folder, discs. Yeah, everything is fine. Shot pistol, because I can't sell that. Dino tooth. I still need to put away my biddies, because we don't want to get killed with my biddies. It's just a waste. Like, I find it funny that this game has the so-called Dark Souls mechanics. Because you also lose all your experience points you've gained so far on that level. It's fucking hilarious. Too much hair you call yours, like it doesn't even cover your vision though. No, it doesn't, but I have like this very sensitive uh, head skin, so if I have too much hair, and my hair is very thick, uh, it overheats very fast, and I really don't like that. It also makes, makes it everything very itchy. Wow, look at the damage upgrades from 18 to 19 to fucking 35. Wow. 
Like, there was a time where I went for the full emo hairstyle. Hit this. That was such a long time ago. I like these. They're a bit slower with fire rate, but they're pretty good. I had just three hairstyle. Just three? Only three? Oh! Oh wow, this is actually an excellent way for me to grind some levels, apparently. Just go in... ...and go out again. Because the door is still locked. Long neck cuts, long neck over. Oh. I see. Actually forgot to pick it up. I picked the new one up. Longer than ever since I, oh, so I have side cuts now. I see. Is it open now? No. No. Aha! Nope. There's two more. Vroom! Okay, rotating hall. I love this Digimon back in the day. You can play it, Cope, right? 
Yeah, you can play this game co-op, indeed. Hey, big dog. It's been a while, dude. Okay, so that... Wait, is this just broken? Oh, yeah, it was. I thought this was a path that would re-extend at some point, but it wasn't. I have never played this game before, and from what the internet told me, it was like this terrible, ugly, monstrosity of a Digimon game. But I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with it, so I can't be bothered. It's like I'm having fun, all I care about. People tried to bully me for my PFP profile picture. Well, at least mine is my pick. I'm not a redditor nor neckbeards. Life is... well, life is life, I guess. It's been going fairly well, except for my regular schedule life, I guess. It's kind of being a pain. I know tooth. HP disc. Raise disc. I have too many of these. How are, uh, how are you doing, man? How is everything with uh, the illness, with Corona, with life on its own? Yeah, stacking up on the items. Boom, baby! Why would you donate your feet to Bobo Sardolf? Why does Bobo earn your feet? Well made, still as tired as ever, but I'm happy and not in danger illness-wise, so that's good. So yeah, glass half full, not half empty. That is, uh, that's not a bad way of living, if I'd say so myself, so, because he lost his and I don't like mine. Wait, Bobo lost his feet? And Corona, I can be bothered, mate. I hope we get our old life back soon. Yeah, me too, man. I, uh, I kind of miss going to conventions. And I recently picked up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So I want to go and do go to locals as well with that. Just for fun. Because I like the game a lot. Infection ate a piece of his foot without shoes. Let's see. Wait. Is that the same ill? Is that the same thing that Bobo told me about back then? It's so hard to remember anything in life. 
I'm surprised I can remember people their names. It is, it's really fun. But also very fucking expensive, which is not so fun. <laughs> I gotta go, mate. Was actually gonna watch some E3, but saw you were online and wanted to say hi. Hey, th don't worry about that. You go enjoy E3. I'm gonna watch it in most... Uh, I don't... I'm not really interested in the current schedule of the E3. Like, more waiting for tomorrow's E3. E3. So, uh, have a good one, bud. Enjoy! Okay, now let's go see what's in this room. The Gob Gob Room. What the fuck is the Gob Gob Room? The Goblin Goblin Room. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they meant with the Gob Gob. Just bored and wanted to see what's going on. That makes sense. Holy shit, look at that frame rate drop. <laughs> you too, dude. Speak to you soon. Stop by more often if you can. We can catch up. Or through Discord, we can catch up if you want to. Level nine. Something opens. Okay, this is a bunch of goblins again from over here. I am Vivi the Goblin Slayer! Watch me roar! First set over here. Okay, so these are just both rooms that I need to clean out. Money, money, money. Never met a person calling himself smart and actually he is smart. Never met a person call himself smart and actually be smart. <laughs> yeah. Power plant. Hey, we're in a new zone in Dryland server. Raise HPB, HPA. Holy shit. Oh. I don't think we can actually continue here. By the looks of it. Okay, so this is just, uh, like... Digimon does this very often, right? Where they just show you a specific area. It is the same deal as I'm a liar. Would you believe that? <laughs> no. I wouldn't. Oh, hey, here we go again, killing goblins, because... Why the fuck not? 
Okay, so Fortress is not a mini dungeon, but uh, a big world like the other one. That is good to know. Actually, doing this thing here right now. Except for kill everything in my path. You don't believe what I told you. That means I lied. What a dilemma. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I guess that's the same with me always saying that I never lie. Folder, device folder. Stinky pants. Ow. Should have seen that coming in. I lied in my life as well, right? But at some point I realized how useless lying actually is, right? Because the only thing that it helps you with when it comes to lying is either sparing someone's feelings or either saving your own butt. And from my experiences, your lie will always be, like, found out. So to that I was like, uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna lie. Like if me telling the truth to someone hurts someone's feelings, then just don't ask it. <laughs> Is the boss here still? Or can I teleport back? Maybe? No I can't, I gotta walk all the fucking way back. Well, might as well head towards the boat then. And with that also being said, I usually can't even remember what I said, like, a, conversa or an, a conversation ago, right? <laughs> so if I say something that I don't actually mean, and then someone asks the next conversation again about it, and then I change what I said, 
And I'm like, uh, did I not say this before? Because <laughs> you know I have the memory of uh, Stinky Winky. Much XP do we really need? We would need to kill 10 more goblins. Uh, 20. More level up. Like, my biggest lies are. my silence once everyone assumes that I'm approving by not behaving against it or common sense. It's in a room, but I'm really not, and I don't want to shit on the mood. That's not necessarily a lie, though. A lie, like, I don't think that uh, just not giving your opinion on something and them just going with it and thinking he's fine with it is necessarily a lie. I feel a lie is definitely something you say or say you did. That's when it's a lie. Not when you're... That, but that's my opinion, right? But not when you're, like, just not giving your opinion on something and people just go with the flow. Because there are plenty of reasons and times that people just go with the flow and don't give their opinions because giving your opinion is something you know like <sighs> speak of the fucking devil what time is it it's almost fucking 12 I'm not gonna pick this up at all I'm not even gonna uh, text her telling her that I'm streaming right now
Level 10, though, that's pretty nice. I'll uh, oh, go back to techniques. How far is our technique? 213. We still got ways to go. This dungeon has been very kind to me. I really like this dungeon. This place. Just giving me all the fucking experience points. Like when someone says, you're a believer, aren't you? So you can't do it. God gives you what you earned. And I'm just keeping her hype by saying yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's... Let me be real. You're in a different country where... <laughs> the entirety of religion is so much necessary I guess and you'll be looked down upon if you don't believe I can't really like blame you for not saying uh, no I'm not a believer like going with that as a lie because it's like uh, out 30 years ago, it was still hard to say uh, that you're gay and you'd rather just not say you're gay because uh, otherwise your parents and your family and whatever would look down upon you. Free diet program. Yeah, no man, I can't really blame you for that. Get the fuck out of here. Time to go to the boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. as fuck but found myself in not had since their kind I mean I guess
give more experience points, but they don't actually seem to get more HP. For what I feel. Themselves and gods, that's a good thing. A devotion to life and build on. I mean, yeah, I can, like... <clears throat> I can appreciate that kind of stuff. But when it gets uh, extremistic, and I just know that there are so many, like, that are way too extremistic when it comes to any kind of religion, and that is just one of the few things I cannot really stand. Can I fight Blossom one again? No, feels bad. Want to see how quickly she goes down now. <laughs> Go to the destination. Nume Nume River. Oh shit. Use a gun-type weapon unit or MP techniques to rescue the captivated digi elves and attack the Nimimum base. Your damage will become damage to the boat, so be careful. You can't recover HP or MP here and can't use gate discs either. In the Numemon cages, on the way to the Numem on the way to Numeral River, you'll find each of the digi elves. Destroy the Numemon cages and the Digi Elves can return to their, the main lobby. Try and rescue them all. Your only hope. Okay, so from what I've heard is that I don't necessarily need to do this. Or the rescuing at least. To progress the game. But with that being said, I don't know what it gives me if I would, for example. I can't even hit it. I can't kill it fast enough. Don't deal enough damage yet. Feels kind of bad. Ow. You already you need to block. Nice, it's another one. Wait, what? Fucking close the door on my ass. What the hell? Assets. Shit, 
shit, shit, shit, shit. Fuckers. Do they get sent all the way back to the main lobby? Oh no, okay, we're back at the abyss of grief. That's fine. <laughs> I was like, do I have to start all the way back and start? <laughs> I am kind of curious if the ones that I'm that I've saved so far are saved still. Or if I have to do it all over again. Yeah, I know. Okay, no, the ones that I've saved are already saved. That is pretty chill, I'm not gonna lie. Nice, got him. Oh, I already saved that one. Nice. Okay, I uh, I'm kind of safe to just work on my defense. This is here. Because the other ones are already saved. Thus, I have no limit to get what or when I want. No limits. There is always a limit. This last three feels bad. At least we got a few of them. But, uh, I need better damage. I can get all of them out. <laughs> Doom Dome. Kagatori Mall! Exploration report number five. Exploration force number seven. So checking the Digimon who attacked us, we found the mysterious virus program, the X virus. It is thought that they have gone bad because their data has to be configured by the X virus. The X virus detection is stronger the deeper we go. What we? What is going on here? We're going to check it out. 
I wonder what happens if I go back with the thing. Do I start from the other side and get another chance? I mean, I could try, right? Rude, Kakutorimon. I'll give 36. I'm kind of willing to try it from this side and then just die, right? See if we can uh, get more of them unlocked. Because that one section at uh, before the very end is actually very hard. Oh no, it seems to just send me all the way back to the Grievous. Oh no. Shit. Careful what you wish for. Just be careful what you wish for. I mean, if I can get one or two more of those guys, I'd be pretty satisfied. This game doesn't have completion ratio for me anyways, it's just play through the game and do whatever is fun. But I am kind of curious, so... What they would give me if I like. Does this even give me experience points for killing them right now? No, but it does give me attack. Which is fairly useful. That's good. No damage so far. Getting better at it. Oh no! It's a gate! A floodgate! Sardolf, dude, sleep well? Take it easy, take a CC. Don't know if you know that commercial, but... Or CCs at all, but uh, hope you have a good uh, sleep, dude. Unlike me, most likely, but okay. This one is already. Open barely, though, but shame. At least I got one more. I'm kind of happy about that. I don't know if, like, actual strength in my hits will make it easier to open them, though. But it's fine. Do do. Okay. Is there anything there? No. Let's go. Uh, 
Battle Hall. Exploration report number 006, exploration force number 07. We have detected strong expire signals within this dungeon. It seems there's something just beyond here. We are proceeding with caution. Yeah, I guess I need some keys again. Most likely gonna have to do some more mini dungeons, but what I dislike about that is the fact that wait, or maybe not. This brings me back to the entrance, and then I can use. Uh... Oh no, there are just specific monsters that I need to kill needed to kill, and then it opens up Dome Base. I think we can do this. Without dying. And having to come back. I think we're good. Wow. New traps! Three hits, Ogre Moon is dead. Didn't pay attention to how much XP you give me. Forty-two. It's not too shabby. Okay, let's just go to the right. This guy's not dying two hits as well. Mostly two hits. X energy power metals. Sometimes in two hits and sometimes in more. Still hit like crocs. Raise this. Raise this. Just sending biddies. Guys, go out and two hits as well. It's not too bad. Forty experience points is definitely not bad. From level 10 to level 11, I got 50 HP plus. Not bad. How much experience points? It's almost 100 enemies to kill. Nah, not almost. Let's see. 83.
nice auto parries. Or... Ow, 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 ow. What did I use just now? I probably used the HPB. Back in the big room. get crit by these guys that take a lot of damage. Here's the map. I really don't like that they got a form of stumble. Uh, that they don't have form stun walk on these enemies. Like when you deal too much damage to them, they just go into a certain mode to go invulnerable for a bit till they get back up. And in this Skuna case, it's just wait until he does that attack, comes back up, and then shoot or hit it. Okay, this brings me back here as well. Taking damage for no reason. So tip the body thing. Okay, there's the progress. So it's exactly at 42 damage the Sakuna decides to do that. And then the next one is most likely to death. My devices are filled uh, to the brim. Double barrier, uh, rapier, two weapons, slot down. Full burn, devices. Meteor boards. Oh, that looks pretty dope. 
break. I wish I could break that. Can I not get through here unless I'm doing two player? Sad. That is super sad. Dome base. Second floor. Points could have killed Sukuna without him going down. Yeah, power metals, plenty of those. Long sword. You guys are not so scary. Like the Sakuna mom. Sakuna mom. Okay, move! 911 to the next level up. Cool, cool. They didn't aren't so scary anymore either. This game... Guys, sorry.
Oculus Board A. Come on, give me a map of this place already. <laughs> on the switch. Or this quick save location. Yeah, we finally got the fucking map. Raise this. Okay, I think I'm gonna disc out of here right now. I can come back here instantly anyway, so I'm just gonna sell my garbage. And heal up. Spend some of my uh, bits that I uh, obtained. Oh yeah, I got spawned here and that was the case. Are you again? Oh yeah, call for help. Help caller! Now I just need to remember not to walk into that one, but in the other one. Sell and buy, sell and buy. Do the disc shop, sell. Bean Magnum. Got 30x data. Battle Hall. Brave Four, Brave Four. Okay, go back one more, buy discs, max out, buy this disc, you are fine, okay, put the rest of the money in the bank, how far are we on the gun technique, shot technique? We're getting closer to my next weapon. Hostel in the bank. So... No. Let me go to withdraw. I kind of want to see... Have a look at it. We still got slash sword speed, chip ace. And a... Double X aim. 360. Okay, that's not too bad. Go to the destination. I'm thinking to myself, is it worth exploring everything? And I'm probably... I think it's probably not. The only good reason to explore everything is, is actually to gain experience points. So if I can find the exit, I think I'm gonna go head that way. Dome base, go to the destination. Yeah!
How much experience points do I need? 227. Level up! I can really see that they kind of decided to go for the easy stat increase route in this game, though. Like, the game, they, the first 10 levels, you got, like, uh, 25 in the stats. Like, HP and uh, MP, for example. Oh, I got pretty freeze. What's that? I don't know when I got this ability, but I feel like uh, spamming some magics. Because I need to up that as well, even though uh, I rarely use it. I also don't really know what the ratio actually is for, like, getting... What the fuck is that? Is this purely MP? Funny. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, here's the HP recovery. Still haven't had the need for raise. Oh god. Teleportator? Teleport? Teleport? Dur? Not Tater? Dur? The fuck is this? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful that you don't miss the jump, Gordy. Oh, there are still enemies. Didn't even realize that, actually. I mean, I'd rather run into Ogumon than Saku... Sakunamon, whatever they're called. Okay, look. Now he's blowing. Apocarimon space. Oh god. Apocarimon. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, that's definitely not good. Still in Death Valley, though. Got 
gonna have a boss fight too. Wow, he a uh, big ass moon. Oh shit. Do I hit the disc? Holy shit, he does a lot of damage. Why can I not stand right? How do I hit him? Crap, what do you mean? Oh, I see. Oh, that actually hurts. Like what I felt before. I need to do charge. Or not. Running out of HP a lot quicker than I had anticipated. Oh. I just noticed something. Nay, I actually died. Shit. Oh, that sucks. Yikes. <laughs> See if I can use the emergency gate. To get back into the dungeon. That's a little bit F. I'm not gonna lie. That means I need to do the boat area again as well. Bolt, impact, bind. Heal light, freeze, resist. Slash skills, specialist. I'm not even using slash skills though. Yikes! That was... That was really yikes, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to get my weapon up further to the point that I can, like, uh, grab my next weapon and then try again. That is kind of what I want to do. I just don't feel like going all in right now. Because I have a feel- I know I took a lot of damage before because I kind of didn't know what the fuck I needed to do, right? So I might stood a better chance. Not enough bits. Hmm. Um. But I really don't feel like actually continuing that right now. I think that before Monday, I'm gonna go do that a little bit offline, get to the 360 for the shooting, so that we can actually put our, own, our new gun. Restock. And I think that's gonna be it. I, th I think the best way for me to do that is to go into the 
fortress, the goblin fortress, right? Do the first room and then go out of the goblin fortress. It's probably gonna give me a shit ton of experience points as well, but I just leveled up, right? And I just lost all the experience points that I needed or that I've gained. So it's like 3,400. So I need like. 115 goblin kills to get a level up, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else right now. It's getting late as well, so I really just think I should go to bed. I kind of hoped that I would have been able to, like, beat it. But that was definitely not the case. We couldn't actually defeat him. But I think we made some decent progress today, though. Even though I had to reset once. But that was at start, and you guys won't see that on YouTube. Ugh. Are you done saving? Done saving. Return to the lobby. Uh, I won't press end game, actually, because end game title screen has a chance of freezing as soon as it goes into a new, uh, like, intro, I guess. Yeah. So guys, today is actually the first time that I uh, recorded on OBS instead of using uh, the Twitch way of sending the volts over to YouTube. I will be doing that from now on most likely so that I can kind of cut in and cut out on certain moments. Uh, I couldn't do that on YouTube. It was apparently not possible with very long VODs, so instead I decided to just record it here and use a free video editing software to, like, uh, get everything fixed. Uh, yeah, so this is the first actual sort of VOD series, then, that I will kind of be tweaking here and there. Especially this one, because the first, <laughs> first half hour... No, yeah, the first 45 minutes, actually, uh, <laughs> I really fucked up because I was not live at all. I was recording and I was streaming, sort of, but I was in the test stream section. So uh, that didn't go well. I had to stop. And at that point, um, Lizzie told me that my mic actually wasn't working. Which I didn't understand because my mic was definitely being picked up. It probably had something to do with the fact that I tried to change uh, any of the channels with the audio channels. It didn't work. Like, I just don't know what the fuck happened. There was game audio, but there was nothing else. So what I did, because I wasn't that far into the game, we explored the area a little bit beforehand and then went into the tutorial section. And instead, during the video that is going on to YouTube or what I'm going to be posting, which is this video. Uh, I just fairly did a little bit of the story section and then straight into the tutorial and moved forward. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> the small explanation of what happened today. So, everyone, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. For those that are watching this back on YouTube, please like comment and subscribe and if you want to i stream on twitch almost every day around 6 p.m uh 6 p.m one plus gtm which is the netherlands time zone i don't fucking know what time zone that is but yeah so you can always come in there and say hi and chat with me and uh appear in stream maybe 